let us have constructions of chapter rectilinear figures already i am the last class i have explained you how to construct uh, two types of quadrilaterals today let me explain you how to construct parallelograms in few situations your first one is construct a parallelogram with a diagonal 6cm and 8cm that means the two diagonals of the parallelogram are 6cm and 8cm and the angle between them is given 60 degree angle between them is given 60 degree first see if before doing that just try to understand if it is a parallelogram the two diagonals are given this one is 8cm this is 6cm oh, and the angle between them is given to you 60 degree that means what to be done so means you have to think before doing that you know that in a parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other and the angle between the diagonals is given to you so let me take one diagonal let me take the diagonal acm let me name it uh, name that as ac bisect each you will get the midpoint let us construct 60 degree angle here join these and produce both the sides let the point of intersection of two diagonals is o if ac one diagonal is 8 cm other one is 6 cm but the, the two parts are 3 cm 3 cm o to b and o to d will be 3 from here given arc of 3 cm from here given arc of 3 cm now join this you will get the parallelogram this is the rough diagram by getting now let me do anywhere of i can do i cannot do exactly let me try my level best to explain you okay let us uh, let me draw one diagonal it's here diagonal you have to bisect ac from a one or this side and also this side from c also one or this side and this side and uh, join them you will get the midpoint let me name this as o now at o construct 60 degree angle given arc and from here given one arc that is 60 degree from o to this both the sides you draw this side and also produce this side okay okay now from o this side you have to give 3 cm and here also you have to give 3 cm so that this diagonal will be 3 plus 3 6 cm so let me give 3 cm arc from here give an arc of 3 cm from here give an arc of 3 cm let me let me name this as b a b c d let us join a b b c okay c d and also a d or d a This is 60 degree we have constructed. This one 3 cm. This one also 3 cm. Now A B C D is the required parallelogram. A B C D is the required parallelogram. Any construction, you draw the rough diagram first and try to understand and think how to do and and then do. Okay. So uh, when two diagonals will be given to you. and the angle between them will be given to you you can do this way okay let me explain you one more variety okay construct a parallelogram abcd one more variety of a construction of parallelogram let me explain you okay the second one is construct a parallelogram abcd 
in which AB is equal to 6 cm, altitude is equal to 3.5 cm and BC is equal to 4 cm. Okay? So let us draw the rough diagram first. That means AB, BC, two sides are given to you. AB, the altitude is given to you. Altitude means the distance between two parallel sides. Okay? Take AB as the side. Altitude means you know that perpendicular. So construct 90 degree angle from AB to uh, Actually, you can construct 90 degree angle at any point on line AB. It is good if you construct 90 degree here. And from AB is one of the sides of the parallelogram. Altitude is 3.5 cm means the distance between two parallel sides is 3.5 cm. So from here given arc of 3.5 cm. Let me name it as X. X is not the side, only altitude. So you know that in a parallelogram, Opposite sides are parallel. So in order to draw a line parallel to AB, again 90 degree angle you construct here. Okay. You get you will get a line parallel to AB at a distance of 3.5 cm from AB. Now BC is given 4 cm. So from B to C 4 cm. Here you can see children from B to C. This side you can give the arc and one more this side also given arc. If angle A is acute, only this side you have to give. Okay? If A is not acute, see, from here to here, let me name it as C, join this, BC, 4 cm. If BC is 4 cm, AD is also 4 cm. From A, you give an arc of 4 cm, name it as D. A, B, C, D is the required parallelogram. Or, if you give arc from here to here, okay, now let me name for a better understanding C dash I am giving you. So, B to C dash, A to D dash you can give. So, in this case, you will be getting two parallelograms. <coughs> Sorry. Two parallelograms you can construct. If it is given angle A is acute, if A is acute, only one can be drawn. Otherwise, two parallelograms can be drawn. If the question asks how many parallelograms can be drawn, you have to show both. Otherwise, simply one parallelogram you can draw. But both I have shown. If you both you do also, fine. So, AB 6 here. Let me draw AB 6 here. Children, I cannot do exactly, you know that. Just uh, I am explaining you how to do, I am giving you some idea. Altitude is 3.5 cm. At A, construct 90 degree angle. Okay. Yeah. 3.5 cm. Give an arc of 3.5 cm. Let me name it as X. This is 3.5 cm. This is 90 degree. Now construct 90 degree angle here. Okay. That is to draw a line parallel to AB at a distance of 3.5 cm from AB. Okay. So this much under which both the sides will produce because you are going to get two. This one. Now from B you give an arc of 4 cm. From here to here you will get that is C. From here to arc, but first you do for one. Join BC. And from B to C measure that is 4 cm measure. And from here, from A you give an arc. Okay. Join this. This is if BC is 4 cm, AD also 4 cm, automatically CD will be 8 cm. Automatically CD will be 8 cm. Okay? 
only construct a parallelogram ABCD means you can construct one parallelogram. Okay, AB altitude, BC is given. I have shown both. If the question is how many parallelograms can be drawn, draw and show you how to look. Otherwise, one parallelogram also can be shown. Okay, then write ABCD is the required parallelogram. ABCD is the required parallelogram. Okay, and also if for safety purpose, you can do one more also from B given R this side. Same thing from A given R this side. Okay, join this way also. This one also one more parallelogram. A B C dash D dash. Two parallelograms can be possible. Two parallelograms are possible. A, B, C, D is required. A, B, C, D. You can write A, B, C dash, D dash and A, B, C, D are the required parallelograms. As per the question, you have to do. Okay. So, two varieties of constructions of parallelograms I explained you today. Okay. And the last class also I have explained you how to construct two varieties of quad electrons. In the next class, some more things we are going to learn. Okay, thank you.